Refugees from Ukraine crossing the Danube into Romania. The numbers arriving across the continent fast approaching two million people and throwing into stark focus the response of different European countries to this crisis. Oksana and her children have just got out. They're from Poltava, west of Kharkiv, about to board a bus on the Hungarian border bound for Budapest. A refugee, yes. A victim, no. We don't lost this war. You're going to win? Yes, we're going to win. Why are you so sure about that? Because we have truth on our side. Because you have truth on your side? Yes, yes. Because truth is on our side. Because it's our earth and it's our homes and it's our lives. Oksana is in the tiny village of Berakshuran, near the Hungarian border with Ukraine. Just one of hundreds of communities across Europe on the front line of the fastest growing refugee crisis since World War II. A village rising to the challenge. Irin is the village church organist. Herself and her friends serve pancakes to refugees just arrived from war. It all stirs complicated memories for her, memories of the war her father fought. <laughs> she wanted to show us some of the backroom operation, the parish priest on the pancakes, power tools on the batter. This is just one village in one country, Hungary. Poland is taking the lion's share. By the end of this week, it's likely that Poland will have taken in 1.5 million refugees as a result of the war in Ukraine. To put that in perspective, in 2015, at the height of the refugee crisis, all EU states together took in about the same number, 1.5 million refugees. Hungary, where we are, has taken in about 180,000 so far. Now, the circumstances are different, but compare that to what the UK is taking so far. Yesterday, the Home Office announced that the government had issued just 50 visas to Ukrainians with family links to Britain. About the same number of people getting on one of the fleet of buses in this village. Today, Boris Johnson questioned the figure of just 50 and said that thousands of applications were being processed. I'm not sure those numbers are, are right, but we're processing thousands as I, uh, as I speak to you. And clearly this, uh, this crisis is evolving the whole time. And I've, I've said before that the UK will be uh, as generous as we can possibly be. Comparing Britain's intake of refugees with that of countries neighbouring Ukraine is to a certain extent apples and pears. Comparing Britain's intake with somewhere like Ireland, though, is a fairer comparison. 1,800 Ukrainian nationals have arrived in Ireland since visa requirements were waived last month, as per other EU countries. That is 36 busloads. We've been crisscrossing the Ukrainian border with Poland, Slovakia and Hungary for the last fortnight. Each time we cross, someone asks us for help. Last night, we drove single mom, Ileana, and her two-year-old daughter out of Ukraine. We are now going to Hungary to stay at our friend's friend's place. I see. And where have you come from? We uh, started our way from Kyiv. We are Lviv, and now we are here. They will stay with people and in a place they do not know. War has destroyed this family's routine. All they want now from a host country, the tiniest sliver of stability. 